welcome back to Wonderful, guys. Welcome AKA back. Road to Redemption 1.5. AKA Was that? No, I no, thought it, no, Winding Path. The Oops. Winding Path, Oops. yeah. Oops. Oops. Oh, did you just Oops. spoil it for us? I just spoiled I just spoiled a little something. I'm going to bleep that out. That. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, bleep it out for them, but you guys just got to spoil it. Oh, for maybe bleep, the title bleep that out in my memory. Welcome to part two. Yeah, part two, hopefully. It's not too long. I didn't realize how long the last one was, so I'm going to try and get back through this. Um, we're getting right back into things. Uh, this fella just threatened a you once again in a more menacing tone to let him know where your buddy Eldrick is. And as he said that, his voice sort of boomed with this sort of otherworldly presence to it. And you notice, I don't even need a roll for this, uh, the cave starting to, they're starting to, see, this seems like there's like a fog, but as you like start to, Focus on it a little bit from this for just a moment. It's dust starting to settle as you see spidering cracks in the ceilings and the walls. Mm -hmm. Spiders and cracks? His, or? It, 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 no, spidering cracks. Like, like, the, crack. the, like spider the, the cracks are There's it, it cracks and moving. spiders come out. It's like yes. the louder. spider's butt crack. <laughs> it, the, 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 basically, the louder you guys are, the worse things are going to probably get here because mm. it's this place has taken like two explosions. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Not a place to get rowdy. Right. Mm. So, and I don't want people to be like, "This cave is fucking magic. People should live here. This is indestructible." <laughs> no, it sounds like it. Yeah. But uh, he he's just asked you once again, "Where is Eldrick?" <laughs> I'm not gonna ask again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Eldrick sneezes. <laughs> God, must be good. And, and, and you see him adopt a new stance as he puts away his smaller sort of uh, short sword styled katana and now gripping with two hands this very large uh, katana. I forget the exact name for the style of katana, but it's like it's it's a fucking it's jagged. It looks fucked up. Like it looks like he found these and has been using them for years okay. in this condition, not sharpening them, not making them better, but something about this tells you that you don't want to be hit with this thing. Right. It's Tetanus City. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. It's very rusted, but like you can tell he's been trying to at least polish the rust off, but he's not mm. doing a thing. He's not about sharpening how it. He's yeah. just jagged yeah. and chipped and mm. fucked this thing looks. It looks like it, it looks like yeah, it, it's not good. It's not Hope good. you're up to date on your shots. <laughs> no. I'm not. Uh, oh man. <laughs> well, actually no, I have to be cuz I constantly get tattoos, so you can't get tattoos without. Yeah. Can we pause actually and discuss the medical environment? And the underground, yeah. like if we could pause I mean, this, um, epic do we battle? trust vaccines? Yeah. Or... <laughs> oh my god! I, anyway, I know anyway, let's get going. Tattoos, <laughs> but he actually has a needle phobia. This is uh, the reason the last episode was too hard. <laughs> <right, man. laughs> the dude's gonna fucking rush you since you haven't uh, made no, a decision. No, no, no. On I, no, I know what I was gonna do. I was waiting for us to be done bullshitting. So I was set, <laughs> fucking set me up with a line again. I had a line prepared and a spell prepared, but everyone started bullshitting. So I, mm. this is the like fifth time. I'm going to say this. He asks you, where is Eldrick, buddy? And the cave begins to shake with a sort of like, oh, I'm a fall kind of energy. Uh, Korna says, hold still. I'll take you to him. And uh, casts Maxim's Earthen Grasp. So he needs okay. to make a... Uh, where is it? You can tell me the regular thing. A strength save. Okay, so yeah, body. That is... That's three plus four, I believe. Uh, so that's seven. seven. That's not. Wait. Three plus four is seven. Yeah, he rolled. He rolled a three on the dice. Yeah. He rolled a two and a one. So that's like already yeah. like. The, he's not doing so good. So what happens to the boy? Uh, so he's gonna take two d six bludgeoning, and he is going to be restrained. Yes. Uh, to go. break out, the restrained target uh, can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. On a success, the target escapes and is no longer restrained by the hand. Uh, very importantly, uh, so this spell is concentration. Even if he like destroys the hand, it just reforms. So like this, uh, as he like pulls out this thing, he's like, uh, uh, where's fucking, I'm blanking on his name. You said it like 12 Eldrick. times and I still forgot. Terrence. Uh, where's Terrence? <laughs> he's in front of you, like at the entrance. Like, so <laughs> the basic layout of this thing, it's like two long, long dugout tunnel into a sort of dome like room center and then a hidden smaller tunnel near the back of the room. There's like a desk that's been overturned uh, in a defensive manner by Grushi. Uh, there's like potion bottles and like papers and like 
sulfuric sort of like black powder strewn about? Uh, so, uh, as I say, I'll take, as Kornot says, he'll take you to him or I'll take you to him. Uh, he, he summons like a, a dirt hand, like right underneath, uh, his feet, his feet and grabs him by the ankles and he's now restrained. Uh, and he takes seven bludgeoning damage. Oh, shucks. That's not a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. The big thing is that it restrains them and he has to spend his like turn he has to spend no that's exactly no it's it's an annoying spell i i yes. love it so he as this hand sort of like comes up and grabs him by his ankle he he like stumbles forward a bit kind of like breaking his stance but then stands firm again and kind of places his foot off center to kind of counteract the fact that he's now in this grasp and is still just staring you down waiting for your answer you feel as though he's getting ready to do something but but is that okay. the end of your turn? Like, do you have any other action? No, no, that no. You... That that was my main action. I have something okay. I'm going to do next turn. Gotcha. Yeah. So he's going to spend this turn doing the strength check to see if he can break the grasp real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's his whole turn since he kind of got caught off guard with a three and a two. That's like a yeah. basically like a f epic fail. Yeah. <laughs> so he got a that's a ten plus four, fourteen. So yeah, he takes that big sword and kind of like. Wait, I don't think that's Takes higher a, than my spell DC. Oh, 24. Oh, yeah, my, but it, it, but spell DC wouldn't four. work the same because you're only rolling 2d6. Yeah, what would your You're not rolling like, d20s. Oh. Yeah, what oh. would your body, I would say plus I mean, I'll say wait, plus, not mind? In in this it's, game system that yeah, we set up, mind. a 10 to 12 is a success oh, got and it, you got rolled got a 14. Got it, got it. Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I misunderstood. So yeah, that's yeah. I think we're just kind of fudging Sorry, it with yeah, the spells. No, exist, yeah, it's, it's not. I, I know how much yeah. you're trying to do the D and D aspect of it. And yeah, I'm trying I'm to like work with yes. you with certain aspects of it, but like, well, that's it's, not, yeah. What, for the sake of time, we yes. can't. So, All right, that's fine. He, but that that's the end of his turn, though. He has shattered the hand, and he kind of adopts that stance again as he is looking now, like he is trained on the next move he makes is to, uh, either cut you down yes. or slow you down to yeet you out of existence like you see him adopt just this like scowl like he's like he's been kind of jovial and like a little jokey with you and now he's adopted this serious scowl that kind of his neanderthalic brow sort of like makes a shadow over his eyes where you can't really tell where he is staring but he is almost cutting daggers through you all right uh then kornoth is going to say it appears i need a bigger fist and activates his thing in uh, that moment too okay i think you hear behind you from the tunnel uh hey cousin duck uh kornath is going oh kornath is gonna duck does kornath know what a duck is <laughs> I, I feel like the better question would have been if Gene Han knows what a duck is. Oh, that's, 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 that's oh, that's fair. That's but fine. you hear that, and do you duck? Yes. I was about to activate my gauntlet, but I'll duck. As you duck, I think I, I don't even get to roll. F I, I wouldn't even think he would roll for this because he doesn't know that they're still in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, but the tapestry that was sort of hiding the uh, tunnel that they had escaped into and were trying to get you to come with them in right. is torn asunder as several bolts of magic missile come sailing from the tunnel mm -hmm. and collide with the chest of Terrence, sending oh, him flying shit. backwards through the uh, through the entrance. And you see as he is hit, he Ugh! like the most like intense, like what the fuck? Moment. Like street fighter. Uh, but ooh, ooh, as he collides ooh, ooh, with the side of the wall and tumbles back. <laughs> exactly. As he collides with the wall and sort of tumbles back into the, uh, the entrance, uh, the cave begins to uh, shake and rock as small, smaller, but increasingly larger pieces of stone start to fall from the ceiling. What are you going to do? Okay. Uh, he's still in the cave, right? <laughs> yeah. He's in the entrance now prone. You it, it, you have a chance now to uh, do whatever you were going to do on your turn. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, so... He doesn't look like he's unconscious, right? He was just knocked prone. No, he's just, for the time being, prone on his back. Okay. And how beat up does he look? Not very. I would say, let's see. Again, it's one of those things where he was caught off guard and it was powerful to some degree. Like, right. it, it, it swept him off his feet as his focus was turned. 
onto you, but it doesn't seem to have incapacitated him in any in any facet. It, it just has brought you some time. Okay. If you are if you want to make an escape, if you want to make an attack or whatever. Yes. So uh, I'm going to use this new overpowered ability um, that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are like not overpowered, like new super strong ability that you I know what you put mean. on the yeah, gauntlet. Yeah. And I'm going to use the falling uh, cave rocks. I'm going to activate the gauntlets and those cave rocks are actually going to start forming a shell around me as I activate Wrath of the Mountain. Oh my God, um, I'm so excited. Yes, 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 please do tell. Uh, stone and earth envelop you as your feet meld into the ground itself. While in this form, you gain the following. 60 foot tremor sense, uh, temporary hit points equal to your strength at the beginning of each of your turns. Uh, I can't cast spells, but any spells I'm already concentrating on, I can continue to use. Uh, you retain the benefit of any features of class, yada, yada, yada. Um, my equipment, I'm having covered up except the gauntlets, obviously. Um, and very importantly, I'm, I gain a burrow speed equal to my walking speed, which means that oh, Earth isn't shit. actually an impairment for my movement. That's cool. Yes. Uh, and I get two special attacks, slam and pillar oh, eruption. Shit. Oh, and, pillar eruption? And oh, yeah, fuck. well, it's curious that you were asking about pillar eruption. I'm going to activate pillar eruption. <laughs> Please, yes. I'm so happy that you decided that this was your moment. So he cut the falling debris, like, forms around him. And as this, I think, like, yeah. the the rocks uh, sort of freeze in midair as they begin to sort of be enveloped by this sort of, like, ethereal purple mist and begin to cling to your body slowly, almost like a chrysalis as you are enveloped in this stuff. An arm, another arm, a leg, a leg almost seeming to meld in with the floor as you rise up in this moment and you let out a roar. Uh is yes, that it? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, <laughs> yep, and he screams God. at the top of his lungs as he takes I on the rock. I picture it like form. the guy from uh, SpongeBob, the guy that's holding Patrick Clay. on his back. Like in this other guy that's holding the real contestant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then, but as this, this is giving me hardcore, like tough, like uh, rock armor vibes. And like, you got the whole like stance, like with the gauntlets. Yeah. Dude, I, I was it. thinking that or Clayface. But anyway, mm -hmm. as this as this moment happens, uh, he sort of like brings himself up onto his elbows and like looks for a moment in a little shot. And a pillar just comes down on him. <laughs> <laughs> this is very important. Oh, a very key detail about this pillar is it's permanent. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> so he's pinned to the ground with this now. Like he's, is he Correct. impaled or is it just pinned? No, well, it does, it, no, he pinned. doesn't specify. Basically, if you don't d dodge out of the way, it's just at the end, it says, additionally, the stone pillar remains permanently. Yeah. You know, he would be at disadvantage with this. So it's a, is it a strength or dexterity roll? It is dex. God, yeah, so what a so, all right. good thing to have in an underground almost, system. Yeah, for real. Who <laughs> yeah, fucking, the mountain miner guy, his entire thing. Is like, that's a 10, I love so that. that's a success. That is okay. a success. He, he kind of, as he was picking himself up on his knees, he spins back on the shield that he's holding on his back and sort of like moves just out of the way. So he only takes half damage as he is not pinned underneath it. But now it is barring his path between you guys and the room that y'all were previously in together as the rocks continue to fall and bury the path you can see him through this point of the pillar like there's such there's just a sliver with a barely any light coming through from the bioluminescence of the outside as you can see his one eye just staring in at you and he's just smirking he's like <sighs> all right all right and you see him running as the cave begins to continue to collapse. However, you are unaffected by this. Yeah. But thankfully, I just like burrow uh, after under that, to the secret after that quick magic missile. Yeah, uh, Gene Han got the fuck out of there. He just wanted to like <laughs> yes. buy you some time to get you to run. Just well, pop in. You, even if like even if he was there, I would just because the pillar spell. Like I can just it's just an attack I can do every turn. So like mm -hmm. I could just put a pillar above him to go across as like a ceiling thing. Like a oh blocking off the okay yeah, yeah like to you, help yeah. so I, I feel mean, like obviously yeah, it would I feel still like probably you, break eventually with the debris falling yeah. on it but I feel like the image is a, a a 
as this cave is collapsing, a torrent of earth and mud begin to flow through this tunnel, and you kind of scoop up Jean Han and Gucci through this tunnel as you are moving effortlessly out, and you guys make it through to the back end as a plume of smoke and rock, or not smoke, but, you know, dust and rock, uh, make their way through the exit. And as far as you can tell at the moment, he is not pursuing you. It would take a lot to go around a fucking yeah. wall of, yeah. you, know, you know, a wall of stone. Uh, I'm still obviously in the stone form. Oh, actually, no, mm-hmm. it probably would have worn off by now because it costs a yeah, charge. I think as you're, yeah. as you're tumbling out of the, the yeah. hole, you just kind of yeah. pig pen your way out. Yeah. You're very dusty, very dirty. You've been talking about pig pen a lot on this so, show. <laughs> just, so, I've been obsessed with him lately. I don't know why. Just because it feels appropriate. Like, I'll just say like, as they as they get out, like the rocks basically stay behind. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, that it's definitely sealed off even without your form being a part of that thing. That, right. That oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not going back into that workshop. Yeah. You see, he had the the like the wherewithal to at least grab a bag that's haphazardly stuffed full of these like papers and like mm-hmm. bottle rockety esque uh, like fireworks and like these little like bands of like these. They almost look like ball bearings that are like tied together with like these little like papers and like these wicks. Like you can tell this dude is passionate about fucking making these like magical sort of arcane fireworks. And he just looks at the hole and he's kind of rubbing his forehead and he's like, "Ah, all right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. I, sorry. I, I understand there's a lot I owe you and there's a lot going on, but could I just have, a moment to look at how much of my work is under there. Wow, under all of that. Mm. You didn't do it. I'm not mad at you. Rest assured, not biting the hand that sort of saved me, found me, threatened me. Yeah, it's kind of every stage is a little bit my fault, to be fair. Um, so uh, Kornoth is actually just going to completely like ignore him whining about his <laughs> workshop. And turn, to, in classic classic yeah. <laughs> and turn to Gene Han and go, I do not like that fellow. Looking back at the cave, like, mm-hmm. I do not like and him Jean one Han little bit. Like, Did you see? Was he dancing? And then we cut away <laughs> as he asks you that question. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, and now you have the option as a group to come together and decide to do something, or we could jump into uh, a solo thing. I like have an you. important I'm question. Good. I'm just kidding. Does <laughs> like the group be because I so for example, Luke Nation specifically would be things. jump it would jump at the opportunity. Oh wait, to get the hold game on. Like, so I know y'all talked. Ter- with Terrence Jeremy mentioned above it, right? Game. Yeah, no, he ran off. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm saying Terrence mentioned like during the fight. Terrence talked about the fact that he knew us, right? Yes, one hundred percent. He mentioned all He was asking about Elgin. yes. Kornoth would absolutely warn, uh, like. His friend, like... So I think, yeah, we could play a scene out. We all go drink. Here's what I will say. You guys did say you wanted to get tattoos. If you would like, in this moment, this could be the scene played out as you guys are being tattooed. We can take as much time as y'all need in between to look at the tattoos. Do we have the tattoo thing? Um, I have a special thing for, uh, for... for you, Bugnacious, if you are going to, in fact, get a tattoo. Yeah, so I mean, if everybody else don't, is don't, doing Don't it. think of it design-wise, but do pick a tattoo and give me a color. That's all I need from you. Yeah, and an important thing, it doesn't matter as much for you guys since y'all don't have any tattoos, but the better the tattoo, the more of your body it covers. Yeah. Oh, I, I well, think I'm doing the one that... My by my venom skin suit, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think just, from my just... understanding, at the very least, whenever you activate it, it would probably glow through your suit. Mm. I mean, it's up to him whether or not he wants that to be a thing, but yeah. like... I, a lot of them, I think, in their text mentioned that they, like, glow whenever you activate them. That sounds gross. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Boognatius, before Go we ahead. get into Tattoo Town. Would you have tried to personally communicate with the Vantaskin? The Vantaskin? Would that. I have tried to communicate? I think yeah. I only would have tried to communicate if something happened that made me think I could. So, so if, if, like, during if your fighting I had an and experience stuff, where I was, like... Is this yeah, thing during, sentient? I don't think well, I would well, have ever assumed it was. So as it kind of like, it, I kind of tried to imply that with the, it walked to you when it found you with the charisma check. Cause gotcha. it was like kind of scoping you out. But also as you were fighting, you were noticing it was kind of in tandem with you in this way that was like, yeah, 
it, it was it was making your 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 attacks more embellished. Like it was like yeah. enhancing the thing that was like in your mind's eye was actually helping you achieve that sort of goal. Like in a in a sort yeah. of telepathic way, not necessarily through words, but it was sort then, of in its yeah. Own way. I I'd bet I I would have at at some point. I think then at the at the talk of this sort of tattoo thing uh, in your alone time before. Uh, you are with the group it sort of separates itself from you and kind of just rests in your hand as this sort of orb and is like do you it's it, it, it's sort of implying through like a telepathic link of like do you want this tattoo personally or do you want me to take care of it mm, interesting um i don't see myself ever uh being i don't bugnacious doesn't see himself ever being separated from the vantis skin at this point <laughs> that he is more than happy to let the Vanta skin take it on my behalf. I think in like a a- assuming weird, that's how like, that works, right? Like yeah, what I know yeah, yeah, that no, for sure. Yeah. 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 You, you have this link that kind of like you share this unspoken sort of message of like, yeah, I mean, if you think that's right, if you think that if you, if it feels fair and like almost like a, like golden retriever esque energy, it gets a bit excited as it like, peels its way back yeah. across your body and like stretches back, but doesn't cover your full face as you're kind of staring yeah. in like maybe a mirror or like a pool of water. And then it just whoosh, yeah. covers your visage again. And you just see those twinkling sort of silver stars. You also in that moment too hear not your stomach, but you hear the suit, the, the suit stomach, stomach growl. You hear Time to go faint, drink like, some blood. Yeah. You hear a faint. Oh, just like a like a the the most anime yeah yes it, like he can divulge whenever but uh, we had mentioned this he had mentioned it when he first got the living armor uh, at, at the end of like every long rest it requires fresh blood oh man is this like a uh, so it could be is, his blood like he you could strike a deal and it yeah. could like give you a pricks and suck this some is of your giving blood. me literally like but, Majin Buu meets uh fucking kill a kill vibes. I love yeah, no, it this so was, much. That's absolutely like <laughs> the kill it. a kill thing definitely was like a big inspiration. If y'all are planning on meeting, I'm assuming this is happening at Restuary, yes? Yeah. I'm yes. assuming that like oh, didn't you say like, that um, Kornoth would have sent over like a message on the little pad things? Yes. As soon as he got back with the the guy, he would have uh as much as he would love to interrogate him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty that sure that's scary. not Kornoth's department. Like, mm-hmm. presumably, he's going to bring him to Restuary, and like, they're going to have an actual interrogation, like detective team. Yeah. Uh, I mm-hmm. mean, maybe they end up calling me in to do it anyway, but I'm <laughs> assuming by no. default, Corn like that's for the not sake Kornoth's of the show, department. Yeah. For the sake of the show and what you've established for me just then, yeah, they're going to take him into the special. I don't RP this room. Yes. And this will be done in a way that's concise and fun yes. and fast. <laughs> yeah <laughs> because you know what i don't need another interrogation you oh, know yes. guy. I Yo, he man. basically I told think, you he's yeah. the guy i think right. i know we're gonna find out take. the nitty-gritty better not be the one i'm getting i'm no, just kidding which one we can get bat- we can get batching tattoos it's fine True. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> we All just right, get how, are, <laughs> okay. should we tell you the tattoos now or so, is this gonna so let's up? let's pick up oh, from also, well hold on very quickly kyle yes you also wanted to have Gene Han have tattoos. You said you were going to give Gene Han some tattoos and like it wouldn't be related to. Not yet. I don't have them. Haven't looked yet. Sorry. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that can be a that start be a of thing. Road to Redemption part. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That'll two. be him. It'll yeah. be you, I'm using, like, like touching him up. We'll say I'm using the last of the magical tattoo ink touching him up. After having. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. After or or gotten, what you have for us is after yeah. you've given him something. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Either way. Do I have all yeah. the fun? Also, to be fair, Kornoth, I think we've established, is like just a tattoo. So if you guys just want normal tattoos. Oh, oh shit. Man. It's oh, literally yeah. a part of his tribe's religion. Or not religion, but like belief system. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Cultural cultural beliefs. It's a, Yes. So would you... Would you say, Kornoth, that you updated your digs since you joined the, uh, since you joined the guild? I'm or assuming my digs were updated. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah I like for you. I don't, I, but, but th- no, <laughs> I just meant for like Kornoth. Kornoth, like, yeah, like if he gave a shit in that, like, yeah. 
if he's like, I don't think that's necessary. I can stay in this fucking no, no. closet he, like Harry Potter. He wouldn't have pushed for an upgrade, <laughs> but I'd be surprised if the restuary didn't just give him an upgrade. Yeah, no, I, I'd say you got like your like boarding accommodations. It's like a, it's like a dorm room fit Especially for Especially because Gene like Han's staying with him now. Mm-hmm. It's definitely meant for two people to be in there, so it's pretty spacious. There's a like little nook for studies. There's a fucking kitchenette situation there's a double futon facing like either direction wall situation where it's like it'll fold out into like a cool desk chair thing or into a nice bed that's made out of stone because it's restuary most of the shit here is made out of stone they're practical not like you, you know we live underground most like things are stone there's <laughs> cots and pads and stuff made out of moss and like it's on ground animal fur it's gonna be rocks Give outside a, <laughs> what's a weird animal's fur Mm. Oh, a merc yeah. monk blanket. Um, there it is. Monk, there's monk blanket. monk blankets. <laughs> um, so y'all want to pick up uh uh Kornoth sends out a message to And he set up the study nook slash living yeah. room into the tattoo parlor. Okay. You I guys drop are everything in. and head that way. <laughs> I think yeah, uh, you guys are who's, who's yeah. sitting down who's I think we should start it at the at the someone's already on the table. Then yeah, uh, so Eldrick if, is if, on if the Bo- table. Yeah, I'm I, I want. I have two that I want. I want to see what he takes, and okay. yeah. it gotcha, might gotcha. influence yeah. my decision. No, you know what? I'm the DM. Rollies. Rollies. Well, no, oh. I have two. I want. <laughs> oh. He has one. Oh, he okay. wants. I want to oh, see. Okay, okay. Fine, yeah. fine, fine. I want to rollies anyway. Let's rollies. Okay. I just, I just want to see who's better. Okay, go ahead. D six or D twenty. Yeah, we're just the D six. Yeah, D6. that's the only dice we have this game. Don't touch any of the other dice, six. please. Oh, I got a seven. Oh, cool. what? Out of <laughs> no, I got a two. You go ahead. <laughs> I fell up at six a.m. Guys, Matt, like it's, the gears were turning tell. in his head. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, so doing calculations. So you beat him. So if you want to go first, Eldrick, yes. you can. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you can choose. Yeah. yeah so, so Eldrick's uh, in the chair. Yeah. His Ripley hot boys land across the yeah. stone tablet thing with like a couple merc monk cloths thrown about. Mm-hmm. So Eldrick, the sound of the is it like one of those wheel guns where you have to pump it with your foot, or is it like a oh, like semi mechanical thing? I hope it's, it's probably a little more magical, it. huh? That's what I'm saying. Well, no, that, it's still magical, but I feel like if you're pumping it with your foot, it's like yoldy. Some would say regular tattoos are like magic. No, you know what? It's like a, it's like blow pins. It's like blow pins. Oh God, blow pins! <laughs> it's like blow pins. God, no. you, you're back. setting them up, and every time you blow through this little no. like, contraption, a little needle pokes them, and so like in between <laughs> that talking, awful. you have to. That sounds. It's so not. Awful. It's very no, painful. God, it's a fucking. <laughs> Hear me out. Can it be steampunky like the elevator? Oh, perfect! Yes. Oh, yeah, that no, makes sense. There's a lot of tubes and pistons and oh, stuff I love going. That. It sounds like you know, if you ever used a pressure washer, it kind of sounds like one of those yeah. is going. It's <laughs> almost it's almost scary because it's like <laughs> this needle should not be making that much noise. Like, and I'm kind the, of the speed at which it is moving doesn't cause a lot of pain. That's the the thing of it. But like looking at it, if it flies off, you're fucked. That really is a death <laughs> oh, trap. Oh, it will now. kill someone. Oh, God. That's the whole reason we don't do that in our real life because mm-hmm. it's an OSHA violation. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, you're 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 getting you're 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 yeah. touching up Eldrick. Where where is this tat this first tattoo? So is going? Eldrick is going to be a- after kind of talking with Kornoth and going over yeah, like y'all can all RP the different. Into it. Yeah. Um, so Have you decided which one you want. I think so. Um, I think after my interaction with um, God, what the fuck is his name? Bagan, uh, Jesus Begon. Christ! Oh yeah. boy, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're only your lifelong hey, best like friend. My lifelong, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I can barely remember y'all's names sometimes. <laughs> True. Yeah. Just uh. Hello. Wait, who is I fighting? Bagan or Terrence? Terrence. Terrence. No, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. your okay. your interaction and his interaction two different things, okay. but maybe sure. coincide. Just, maybe okay. coincide. Sure. Uh, after my um talk with uh, Bagan, I think I'll be getting the life well tattoo. Oh, and okay. um, if you could, uh, I, I know I'm kind of scaly, so I don't really know how this will work out, but it's if you could, D&D fantasy. It's, it, wor- it works. If you could, uh, I assure you this needle will puncture any flesh. Oh, okay. Um, well, painlessly could, ish. So my, my <laughs> scales are kind of like hexagonal. If you could give me like a arm tattoo all the way around that kind of goes off into like little like points um, and like maybe leave some scales like patchwork uh, throughout so that it just kind of 
Looks like a cool like hexagon, I guess. No, I, 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 like you, a Mandela kind of. I get it. Yes. Yeah, like cool patterns. Um, yeah. cool so, patterns uh, that like I'm ass- traces scale. I'm assuming Kornoff has to be good at drawing if he's a fucking tattoo yeah, artist. I, uh, I'm gonna say it's literally like, it's on a, me. No, it's no, literally have coloring you seen in the dots. So, so, well, the thing <laughs> no, no, I was gonna no, no, ask: no, no, Have no, you no, seen no. fractals? Yeah. Like, have you seen so, fractal yes, patterns? Yes, 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 yes. Kornoth is going to draw like a fractal pattern, and it's like, yeah. So, is this kind of what you're looking for? But built off of his scales. Yeah, but that. yeah, a yeah, fractal yeah, cool. pattern built off yeah. of his scales. Yeah, dude, that's uh, like that goes yeah. around. And canonically, because you're the one who brought it up, nobody else brought up the tattoo things. Your people are like whizzes at tattoo. Yeah, like that's oh, a, hell like yeah. that's it's, like a try like yes. like it's a like thing like with yes, your people. Like, we talked oh, about this yeah. before in like Road to Redemption one. Like, yes, mm-hmm. I have tattoos you're on good. my back and both arms. Yes, mm-hmm. entirely and, culturally. And Gene like, Han's covered in moss. Yes, <laughs> he used to be covered in tattoos before, mm-hmm. but uh, now it's like cool Mandela moss patterns. Oh hell yeah! Yes, so while he's working on the uh fractal and presumably while um bugnacious is like flipping through the book of <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's got the flash art in there i can't <laughs> read uh, so do any of you recognize the name terence what would i recognize that name um no i i, I don't think any of you like personally yeah. recognize it i mean Maybe Terrence sounds like a pretty common name. I mean, what did he look like? I I don't know. Um, a, a bit like an asshole. Oh, I've seen no, plenty I, of those. And guys. Gene Han kind of is like <laughs> focus on the fucking tattoo. And Gene Han <laughs> pulls out like a piece of paper and like a piece of charcoal and draws a like hobgoblin gentleman and like takes some of the ink and like also, red blue nose. This is important. He Kornoff the genuinely thought that was a good answer. <laughs> like, he, and and the then he, at the top he just sighs and puts an arrow with the chalk and puts mm-hmm. asshole so he looks kind of like this like a red hobgoblin gentleman with a blue nose he's got like crazy armor I've never seen armor was like that was he a before. dragonborn? no no, no he no, was he's a, hobgoblin no, he's oh a he hobgoblin. was a hobgoblin Top sorry I thought you yeah. were yeah. just being no. descriptive sorry yeah. I missed that no, no. any recollection and, in the picture or um, no, he has a like. He, as far as you can tell, oh, uh, this, draw the sword. Draw the cool sword he had as well. Oh, because oh. it's similar to um, uh, it's similar to yours. It's I, it's different, but it's similar. I will enough tell you that above game as similar Kyle. To mine? Just descriptors for the character. Like, yeah, he he is not familiar to anyone. Okay, cool. cool yeah, he cool. knows you. Okay, yes. that is the distinction that's, you have for that's, sure. That's Jesus. Scary. No, this is not G. Who is he? Mentioned uh, he mentioned working for for a boss. I don't know if he divulged further, but mm-hmm. uh, I heard a bit before the scuffle. Uh, what? Right? Yes, yes, and also very important. Did I even tell you guys where I encountered him yet? I don't think I did. Um, uh, hello, and no. that's when Gucci pipes up. <laughs> Uh, I think I've just been here. I think Eldrick is legitimately like scared. Like, uh, like, like, oh shit. (laughs) He hasn't done anything. He's just been sitting with his stuff on the bed or the futon, just kind of like um, holding his bag, waiting for whatever. I legitimately just thought that you were like, and again, it's an albino kobold with some wicks that are like slightly burning in his beard now that he's been like calm. I'll be honest. I thought that was a coat rack. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, he just kind of grudgy. Were yeah, you not? Yeah. Are they already done talking to you? No, not you. Haven't taken me to them yet. This just kind of. I've been here with <laughs> Jean Han playing Did chess. Did I forget to take you to the? Oh, that's not. I really appreciate your patience here. That's. It's okay. I, I'm not your enemy. <laughs> Why would I do like anything monk. bad? Oh no, you're not the enemy, but you are criminal and um. Yeah, no, I'd be I, oh, man. Anyway, that is re- that remains to. He kind of takes a little umbrage there. He's like that remains to be seen. <laughs> I make fun. And one time bang, I bang, don't bomb. have a name. And I don't have a name. Bank no, bank no, no, no. That is in the past. Okay, okay. That is in the past. I, I listen. It's what new, I did in my Bruce. youth. What I, what I did in my youth is probably to some people 
Maybe a war crime. It was like a few weeks ago, Grucci. No, that, not that. That sounds that like is, a war crime. This is new. This I'm a humble fireworks man. I don't work for a bunch Who, of goblins trying to take over other goblins and blowing up goblins anymore. I don't do that Any, anymore. Anymore. Do so. you not remember that Terrence, the guy you're not working for anymore, almost like... Yes, but... I, who am I to know where he takes the fireworks? He says people are going to love it. I'm like, hooray. That's <laughs> marketing. <laughs> Grucci, Man, I hate when mom bomb, and dad fight. Listen, and I just wanted a new start. The bomb. I, I just wanted a new start. I just wanted to make fun for the children. Listen, and we can... sparkles. Look at this. And he just holds up like this. Like It kind of looks, to be honest, like a poop on a stick. And he just lights it with <laughs> one of the wicks on his beard and makes these beautiful rainbow sparks. Oh, wow. See? That's... It, they're not even painful. It's just looks. <laughs> Grucci, I like I this. have never questioned your craftsmanship. And he just licks his finger and tss, puts it out. Can't waste these. Well, since anyway, you're here, how's that tattoo coming? <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos take a while. I man. figure you're like paying attention as this is happening, <laughs> yeah. doing that, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I mean, if if you would like, Gene Han can take me to whoever, wherever. I'm not going. No, anywhere. you're here. Do either of you want to question the bomb maker for who broke into the bank and he's now making fireworks? He seems fine. Like uh, he, he's he's not the I worst. I mean, you seem like you know a lot more about what's going on than I do. I'm still not tracking. Uh, what are fireworks? <laughs> yeah. This is uh, news to me. I, I, is it like little like? I called these dragon snappers. That was my trademark name. For, for uh, these. That sounds like a drug. I, I take Is it a drug? to that. No, no, no. It, I'm, I'm of draconic lineage. Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm <laughs> anyway. fourth draconic. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, working on my social removed. skills. It's, it's, it's not an edible or sort of takeable thing. It's like a celebration. You light this and people are like, wow, I'm happy for some reason. That sounds a lot or like, like a lot of drugs I've taken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, turn your uh, you light it up and like, then you're happy. That's no, drugs. well, That's say drugs. there's like a beautiful musical performance by a bard, and he <laughs> wants to crescendo the experience and give people more of a a shock value, like the like the spell pyrotechnics. I have this scroll here. Oh. If I tie this to this rock and use a sling, I. Now, uh, did he actually do that? I'm or, it. No, no, okay. he just he's no, pretending. I would, I'm, he's I'm mad. all this. He didn't. <laughs> I'm under. I'm tracking. I'm no, he's either. not. He's. I, we don't have two mad scientists. This guy has put. <laughs> this guy's put this stuff behind him. It's <laughs> missing a couple I, fingers. I simply just <laughs> want to. I don't know. Be flashy. Have a bit of fun, and invite people to do the same within reason. We do live in stone caves, so there's not like risk of that much of a fire but don't shoot it at someone's home clearly or i mean if you're you down know. far enough there are like you know gases and stuff so i'd, I'd be kind of that is true and that would be very very not actually good. those are actually pretty but, prominent down and, here and he um, and he kind of reaches into his <laughs> back that's why i have certain ones like this and he cracks this like almost glow stick like thing with like a little scroll and the oh scroll burns now that's away. dope and as the scroll burns away it leaves sort of like a tangible light on the cracked stick and he's like if you are exploring or maybe mining, you could leave these as a trail and they stay burning for at least four to five hours. Wow. You should you should sell those. Grucci, I'm I beginning to am, like you. I, I again why I don't, cannot why don't you work can, for the guilds? I what part of I am a war criminal in hiding oh, just yeah, trying right. to that's change right. his name and become a just an old guy who maybe sells fireworks mm. from town to town, but he doesn't stay long. Mm. I wasn't supposed to be found. I wasn't supposed to stay there. I wasn't supposed to meet Terrence. Yet here I am. Were you hiding before you met Terence or? Yes. So Terence found you after you gave up your craft. Yeah. Your so old craft. I, yes. As I was in my, in my travels, I had met uh, a, 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 a group quite similar to the demeanor of Terence, if that makes sense. And they wanted to see my wares and at first wary. You know, trying to keep myself busy, trying to make sure people don't know who I am. And I show them the things and they say, wow, these are wonderful. We could use something like that, right? And there was a laugh shared. I'm an old man. Maybe that was an evil laugh. I don't know. I just wanted to make people happy. Well, them and so I'm I sold them some of the fireworks and they left me. Whether or not they used them for evil remains to be seen. Terrence, they blew up a bank floor. You did not give them fireworks. You can't. 
If you get if those I, are fireworks, you should you not be seen, giving those could, to children. You have seen the things I have shown you. I have been forthright. Nothing I have made personally can do that kind of damage. At the most, you might lose the tip of a finger. What about Oops. your cave trap? That was for my own protection and not for sale. That is so you not did a not firework. Sale the, you never sold Those anything were, of that scale. No. Did you ever have something of that scale go missing? No, I have not. That was a last resort thing that I have made based on knowledge I still have from a past I am trying to run from. Has Terrence, did Terrence ever, what did Terrence make you do? He, so like, what? Where, you show me kinda. on the doll where Terrence touched you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Gross. The, the plan was to get me somewhere. Right. You, uh, we were, act, things were packed, as you could see, in sort yes. of haphazard fashion before everything went down. And well, I believe Terrence was taking me to this, this boss fellow of his. He calls the uh, Bloodstone Emperor. That's such an over the top name. Yeah, that yes, sounds very pretty gaudy. fucking dumb. It's very gaudy. Also, yes. do, does that ring any bells or no? Um, not to me. I maybe give me an insight check, Eldrick. Uh, mind. Yeah, mind. You also forgot. Because my brain, D and D, you know. Uh, eleven. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a success. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. There is only one time ever in your life that you've heard this name. And it wasn't in a serious foreboding tone as it was spoken here in this room. It was... A fairy tale. It was as children. Oh. It was a childhood game you and your friend Bagan would play. Mm-hmm. Where you would take up the mantle of two different characters. I don't have the name for your character. I'll let you make that up. But that does explain the yeah. over the topness of it. Um, so the the Bloodstone Emperor, um, as I know him, is my former um, best friend, Bagan. All of you, give me a mind check. Oh shit. Myself. I got a seven, so that's Ooh, like a partial success. That's one better than me. Barely. I also got a seven. I got and a then, six. Yeah, I rolled real bad. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I think after I, I, you can continue with what you were saying. Me? Yes. Oh shit! So the the only time I've ever heard that name was from my former best um, best friend, Bagan. This is the one that beat you at chess. Uh, the one we we like I'm kicked sorry. his just, ass. Just like he one. had a sword. And Gene Han just pipes up. No, me and Gucci played chess. No, 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 it, no. You it, you did play chess. It, Unrelatedly, they played it's chess. Different, also. different dra dragon. Gene Han, I missed you. Know. What we should like hang out sometime. And I think in that moment you are finishing up the tattoo as Gucci's <laughs> yeah. kind of like taking this all in and kind of just sitting with you all. He he's, he seems he's a little, cleaning up he, like getting all the. Gunk yeah, he's, off. no, he's not cleaning any no, no, of the no, no, soot no. off his body. Um, uh, um, Kornoth is cleaning the tattoo. Mm. Oh, cleaning yeah. up the area. Yeah, yes. nice, nice. Yes. Yeah. Sanitation. Got, gotta yes. stay. Have you had sterile. a tattoo before? Thanks. <laughs> um, it, am I you supposed know. to like wrap this or how do I? Is there any like care? No, no, it should be. And Gene Han comes out with the fucking the the cellophane <laughs> like the sticky oh the, fucking the plastic second shit. skin. Yeah, he's Wait, like hold yeah. on. Hold on, is that a thing He's you like, have hey. to do? I thought the needles were small enough that it you didn't need to. I think it depends. Uh, or it's just to keep stuff out yeah. of it, and y'all are stinky adventurers. Yeah. Gene, okay. just helping In our real world, you can do a bunch of things. Yeah. Like for this yeah, one, yeah. I just got, they he, gave me the second just, skin like they're talking he has about. This, like, you don't he has this though. sort of mortar and pestle deal, and mm -hmm. he kind of gives you like this like whole mortar and pestle in your mm -hmm. hand and this like plastic wrap and he's like mm -hmm. put this stuff and it's like filled with this like neon sort of like green paste mm -hmm. he's like put this on it if it gets red or itchy yeah you don't have to do it all the time just okay. keep it clean keep it dry he's got um, scales, i would highly so he's probably good um yeah. i would highly suggest waiting at least 24 hours before activating the magic oh okay okay I, i'll just let you know that moss grows on rocks think about that 
And he just kind of. He just says that. And, hey, and he just holds. Deep. And Gene Han just holds up. I've been reading books. And he's got this like big. <laughs> Is that how you learned about the duck? Gene Han's got a fresh perspective yeah. that I don't think we're giving enough credit. Yeah. He's like, I've, I'm just very fascinated with this biology business and learning about all this stuff in the cave just feels. It just comes to me. I don't know. That's, and plus, on account, I'm made of most of this gross. And he's like <laughs> touching the like moss and like a little like light spores. It does like off. The, it does like the little pillow thing. It does like the pillow thing where it, like it's got like yeah. the two different yeah the tones. color like weird yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. I love that. Uh, but uh, uh, as he as he gets you up and cleans up the table, you lay down, uh, Bugnacious. As this conversation continues, well, if you do indeed uh, know this. Uh, this bloodstone emperor, as you say, uh, uh, you, could, are, you could just call him Bagan. Uh, sure, Bagan. I, I, again, I, that, I was going that name, to take him. I so never really is, liked that name, so you know, I thought it was. A he's little apparently been obnoxious, rounding up some talented folk around these parts, or at the very least, following in the in the way of. Uh, Trying to campaign something, it seems. Trying to get this maybe more than feeling the a power vacuum. Would you say? I personally don't know anything of that, other than there was this crazy gentleman who also tried to get me to do some work for him. I told him no, flat out. But did he live in a diamond? Uh, like he he would visited know. me yeah. in my. Uh, oh, okay. Right. At the time, so was I would he old? know. He wore a mask. And had a cloak, but I'm sure from his voice alone, he was an aged man. Oh, I think we uh, killed him. But uh, um, yeah, no, he was. A, he was. I don't think it's stuck. You could just tell from his cadence, he was not all there. But with this gentleman, it seems like he's got a bit more thought behind some of the things he's doing. He's got people doing the things he sees as maybe busy work or beneath him. Uh, if somebody wanted to recruit me, they should have spoken to me. Yeah. Got personally. a letter of recommendation, and I could, ad- and I could refuse them to their face. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I am my own person. I've lived a long time. It takes a lot more than money or power to make me do things. So I, I know you don't know me, and you have no reason to trust me. But I can assure you that I, I was a bad man. I haven't been a bad man for quite some time. Gucci, you keep referencing that you've been a war criminal for a long time, and I thought hey it was man, the bomb, listen, and it's not the It's going to come up. Bomb. It's going to come up. You took me to this place no, it's fine. for okay. interrogation, like mm-hmm. cops. I don't know. Hey, they're going to look at background stuff. They're going to find out, right? I should hey. bear all the cards. Gucci. Do we have the internet down here? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> we have tablets. We do have magic tablets. Uh, and that's so we have here. blogs. We only have blogs. <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the pop sound of your uh, tablet as you, it's, I, I assume, sent this information that you had mm-hmm. the had Gucci as well mm-hmm. to these people mm-hmm. by now. But uh, you're now on the tattoo table, Bugnace, just getting your tattoos if you want to explain what you got. Yes. Um, the one I want is the Shadowfell brand tattoo, um, which... Uh, gives me advantage on stealth checks, on dexterity in parentheses stealth checks. And Mm -hmm. uh, when I take damage, I can use my reaction to become shadowy and insubstantial for a moment, reducing the damage taken by half. And once used, I can't use it again until the next day. Ooh, okay. that's also cool. I forgot I forgot to uh, say what mine does, so I'll, I'll say that really quick, and then you can describe yes. what it, yours looks like. Um, yeah, yeah. So the life well tattoo. Also, I introduced oh. you getting tattoos several times. Cut all of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while this tattoo is on your skin, you have resistance to necrotic damage. Um, d- uh, I also get death ward. Um, when you would be reduced to zero hit points, you drop to one hit point instead. Uh, once that's used, I can't use that until the next dawn. Hey, you know who needs that? Yeah. Carveth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro, you ain't lying, dude. You, <laughs> you ain't, ain't lying. Oh, also, um, uh, yeah. whenever you get your tattoo, uh, Kornoth actually like slaps his left leg and just be like, I got the life well as well. It's a good tattoo. I went with a different design, though. Uh, I think mine is... Uh, kind of like on my shoulder. Uh, it's basically a kind of like 
fifties pop art like a ghost. It's just like that's like, so perfect like that you be- said it's a, a ghost. Bed-sheet what color? Ghost, is, and it's like the arms it? are no. It's just an outline with like some realistic legs or no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just yeah. like ghost, no legs. Yeah. Okay. As no he like does the ghostly ghost. like outline, uh, you see the ink sort of spread out like watercolor beneath the mm. Vanta skin and almost make up like you know how you look at like the star nurseries where they have those sort of nebula like clouds. Mm-hmm. So it's sort of this varying shades of like grays into blacks that make up this ghost, almost like he's like moving through the vacuum. Of Very space. cool. No, I, I do. It. I do want to warn you. Um, your your kind of gross skin armor. I can't guarantee this stays in the same spot just based on As how it kind of operates. he says that the ghost is like literally, yeah. like <laughs> the ghost. No, no, no. I, I whisper to my skin, and then uh, my <laughs> skin changes to the tattoo, and it flips off Kornoth. The I ghost hate does. The ghost I hate it's like off doing Kornoth. figure eights on his shoulder and flipping the ghost, you off. Like my skin. Mm. Uh, forms the tattoo like yeah well, they're on, basically, are you basically moving it around while i'm trying to do the tattoo <laughs> no, no 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 it's okay. when you say that okay like once it's finished yeah okay yeah. okay also i just want to say i whisper to my skin is the worst Gross. sentence i've heard it's so bad Sorry. that's the name Probably of my fucking r&b <laughs> that's album. a leather face line I, I that's my r&b I album it. i whisper into my skin that feels kind of <laughs> like a david bowie lyric <laughs> As you guys finish that, um, Eldrick, give me, uh, would you be, would you be armed at this moment? I would have my swords nearby, yeah. Give me a, uh, a soul check? No, body no, no. Check. Yeah, give me a body check. Actually, I have a very important question for you, Kyle. Are yes. the are the gloves dexterous enough that I would be able to wear them while doing this? Or do I have to take them off Inter- for it? Hmm, interesting. I think I imagine I would you say, would take one of the gloves off. Yeah, I could see I, I you think, keeping. Yeah. I think they're like still at your side situation, but like you have them out and Oh yeah, of no, no, no. Like, I would definitely have like some kind of Yeah, like, like a I holster would, situation. Yeah, some kind of like, little thing to Like hold they kind them. of compress into like yes. cuz it's a bunch of like pistons and shit right. so like they compress into like okay. small regular looking sort of uh-huh. like fisty cuff gloves oh, right i just wanted just to make sure I was, sort of, I was thinking about it, i was like i don't think i would be able to do tattoos i while think you made like these little like sort of hip holster magnet things mm-hmm. that they yeah, like they, to. yeah they cling to so i actually much. like that a lot thank you and they're like the size of like a regular briefcase mm-hmm. on your hip instead right. of like the size of like silverback gorilla times two. <laughs> right right <laughs> but uh what was your role for body man oh shit um uh, eight. You look to where you placed your because, so, like, you kind of like stripped down a bit. Mm-hmm. You look to where you placed your swords off to the side, mm-hmm. and the Vorpal sword is missing. Um, that's not good. Uh, have you guys seen that? Uh, you know what? Sword? That's not good. That's not good. That's give good. me a mind. Give me a mind check one more time. Have I seen his vorpal sword? Yeah. No. Well, you guys were. I assume <laughs> we're in an enclosed room. So, like, like I, I give me a give me a mind check for the rest of you guys. I mean, yeah. Kornoth wouldn't have been paying attention to it because he was focused on the other thing. Ooh, uh, okay, hell got, yes. Oh wait, I gotta roll again. Uh, eleven. Yeah, I think with an eleven. Mm-hmm. I think within 11, you see, as you were like, kind of like in this moment, like what the, you look up and see the door closing with the uh, sealed hilt of the, uh, of the sword making its way through the threshold. I'd sprint You, out. you don't see a person. I'd, you just I'd see just the sword floating. i sprint at it and like grab, right. I'll grab uh, both of them or I'll, I'll just grab one of my swords um, and just sprint off towards it. I see Eldrick run away. I immediately follow. Like, I don't even question it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like you, Eldrick you see, clearly, like, yeah. Yeah. Eldrick just is, have you guys seen my Vorpal sword? And then, like, looks over at the door, sees it, like, floating out, and then just immediately, like, jerks up, grabs a yeah. sword, and runs. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are, uh, you guys, uh, as you make your way, seeing after having seen this moment, this thing has moved with impossible speed as you mm-hmm. see it kind of rounding the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't need to roll for running. You're yeah. fucking, you're, you, yeah. you have legs. Yeah. Uh, this is important. Actually, guys, hold on. This, this is important also to me. also important. Kornoth was holding the uh, saran wrap and 
Gene Han was holding the uh, the goop. The mortar and pestle situation. And yeah, we yeah. just like didn't even think. We were just like, no, hold on. We've got to. And yeah, you see them after. all running. Yeah, yeah, you see them all running. <laughs> we like, I think you got. Like, I think you got Eldritch nice and hooked up, but like oh, yeah, everybody Eldritch else. Was yeah. done, but so quick, quick. Uh, I'm not sure if the wait, ghost needs disinfecting. You see them round the corner to the sort of courtyard area that I mentioned in the last episode. That's like sort of like a park, an artificial park. Mm -hmm. That's like a little bigger than like the 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 the, the room you were in. Mm -hmm. That has like fake trees and like a fake sort of skylight kind of area. Mm -hmm. I and, think uh, uh, as we're kind of like sprinting out. Um, if you'll allow it, I think I'm going to go ahead me, and yes. Give me a contested body roll. A contested body roll? Well, I'm good yes. at those. Oh, not great. Not that five, good. <laughs> seven, ten. Oh, the, ten? Yeah. I mean, that's oh, you just No, that, no, you just like, they, they also rolled a ten, so I'm going to rule in favor of you. Okay. Uh, as you round the corner into this thing, you are like beelining for it. A figure materializes and you duck just in time as a the blade of a sickle tears through the cloth of a cloak of a winged figure now standing within the courtyard sort of hovering holding the uh holding the uh the, the pommel of the four I was of running the right behind him can I do anything uh, yeah, and you you see this happen in this moment, mm -hmm. and they're just kind of staring you down. And they're hovering. I'm not breaking. Stride. Yeah, they're hovering off I the ground. To, they, they've flown up. I want to run air. full speed into that figure. Like oh, I yeah. see that happening ahead in front of me. I don't even break stride. I'm tackling into this thing. Okay, yeah, the contested body roll. Contested body, because you 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 spent your action to dodge the attack that they were yeah. dishing out at you, yeah. which was this sickle like blade coming <laughs> yeah. from the wrist of this. You, now in you the see background. sort of like you, you got to wrap uh, it up. <laughs> I got an and, eleven, and, and as you see oh. them make this attack, you see their hands are talon like uh, in nature. They have like sort of like bird like qualities yeah. to the hands, but you don't got, see any other yeah. features. I got an eleven. Oh, you got an eleven. Let's see. I got that's. 12 Ugh. so they oh, unfortunately God. they swoop a bit higher and drop the cloak and now you see before you a uh what appears to be an eric cochran woman uh who who looks like a cardinal uh re bright red feathers with like a shock of black in the chest uh these sort of like roguish leathers and she has like a bandana tied around her head with like short sort of feathers kind of going back into like a faux that's hawk. fucking dope and also fuck she's holding bitch. the and she's holding the vorpal sword and she's staring at you Eldrin, and she's like yeah listen it, it was either the sword or your life i shoot an no, arrow no, right well, so at him. But before that, so you tried to ta tackle the uh, yeah. creature. That's your action um, for the time. Yeah. So. I, She's talking. I'm just like, yeah, I'm no, not no, trying I, to listen yeah, you're to good, talking. You're good. You're good. Um, mm -hmm. As soon as that like like fails, she kind of like flew up a little bit. I'm going to leap up into the air, uh, spring out my fucking gym uh, crystal-like uh, wings, mm -hmm. and just like full sprint, like like as I'm as I'm going, like just not even talking, I'm gonna like try to disarm uh, the sword out of her okay, out of yeah. her hand. Hell Let's do yeah. a contested body v body again. Oh, is this like Monopoly? If I roll doubles, I get to. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Even Was a that two bit. ones? <laughs> no, two fours. Um, eight plus three, eleven. Oh. Ooh, they also rolled an eight plus three, eleven. Crazy. Oh, I'm not even joking with you. So as you go, you 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 sort of leap in this sort yeah. of bestial fashion. Your wings make that sort of shattering crystal sound mm -hmm. as they extend from your back. You raise one of your sword. Which sword do you have out? Um, I only grabbed the one. Uh, so, which one would you have grabbed in that oh, moment? I don't think I. Zeknog or Irfani. My gut oh. says Topaz. Yeah, exactly. I, I was think thinking Irfani because you're like. You're a little on a war path. So yeah, you grab the topaz blade and as you bring it forward, you see them sort of like flip this sort of butterfly knife-esque dagger and effortlessly sort of like with the tip of this, as you can see, sort of like glistening, sort of yet sickly jaundiced yellow uh, uh, steel dagger, they stop your blade and they just kind of smirk at you and they're like, I was told to bring you in, not the sword, but this is what he wants. You better back off. <laughs> <laughs> and she flips the sword, and I'm going to need you to make a body check to see if you dodge this as she okay. brings the dagger down towards the nape of your neck. Ooh, 19. 
not good. That's nine plus three. That is a twelve. Six. Yeah, they strike you once with this, like I said, the sickly mm-hmm. yellow blade, mm-hmm. and you feel this sort of like, like almost like a like like your 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 breath was taken from you in the moment. As mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna need you to give me a soul roll. A soul roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, not bad. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. And uh, you you shrug off being poisoned, but you do oh, take. Okay. To be fair, do we have HP in this game? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, fair. But just superficially, you yeah. take yeah. nine points of oh, okay. uh, of piercing damage as this dagger plunges into the sort of corded muscle of your shoulder, uh, and she kind of kicks off of you and uh, begins to sort of fade into that invisible space again. Um, is it a, is it a spell? It might be, but are you in oh, the room yet? Well, he, he was running you. after. That's up to you. Oh. When I, I mean, oh, yeah. I were you assume... guys coming? Yeah, I, we I were would... following. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 You see, <laughs> you see this exchange happening as she kind of fades back, yeah. and you see this sort of like ethereal sparkle starting to go across her body as she's. Uh, he's gonna. Actually, this isn't okay, her yeah, casting sure. a spell, right? Yeah, no, it's not. As as you can see, it is not her casting a spell. Okay. Um. Actually, if you'll allow it, really quick, uh, I can only use it once a day, or once mm-hmm. per short rest. Before she gets to do that, can I action surge? Um, and get another let's swipe? Do, let's just do a round of rollies since I already called them doing this, uh, okay. trying to do yeah. this thing. Because it's not a spell, it's an innate D6? Thing. Yes, a D6, flat D6. Or the two D6. Four. That's just a one, six. One D6 or Have you been rolling Yeah, I, I was one doing die. one D6. No, no, but no. If no, we for are doing rollies, two. I've been doing one die, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, for yeah. rollies, we do one. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, it was a six. Okay, fair. So as you are getting ready to do whatever it is, you see it's not quite invisibility. You see her become like ethereal, ethereal almost like yeah. that of a ghost. Like oh, ironically enough, as Bugnacious just got a ghost tattoo. Yeah, exactly. But she sort of phases up into this false ceiling and... uh as the uh go ahead and give me a, a contested hmm. yeah give me a contested soul roll bugnacious to see oh. if you got the gumption to shoot it oh yeah if you fuck this up you've just yeah that's 12 oh 12. let's go it's nine fuck plus yeah. three 12. so she phase as she is phasing through the wall you you let loose this uh this shot and it hits one of those panels of the false ceiling and a shower of sparks uh, collides with her as she is fading through and while she continues to fade through she drops something into the lower bushes down below you guys oh I, yeah. well but she i definitely to, um yeah is so Kornoth, i would think would recognize this is she actually going into the ethereal plane yes okay wait no i don't let me let me double check yes because this matters No, no, it is not the ethereal plane. My bad. They be, they assume a spectral form. Wait, aren't specters on the ethereal plane? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm 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 retaking it, some of this it, away from it. it being a D and D adjacent yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Like you're good, yeah. she, Danny Phantoms through a wall. Yeah. Cool. with something. But, but she's she not in the ghost something. zone. <laughs> it's like Chicken yeah, Little. <laughs> but, what? Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh. They uh, fade into the ceiling, and there's this uh, moment of quiet as, like, the sp- sparking panel slowly just dims and blacks out. Uh, I'm, do you guys want to check that bush? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely yeah, going to check. Yeah, I'll, I'll fly down, I guess. Uh, I'll, well, I'll check the ethereal. Like, I'm going to, like, swipe at the etherealness. Like, I have a, yeah. nothing happens. Just Yeah, when... Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, as you check the bush, sure enough, you find the Vorpal... Longsword. Oh, oh good. shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, they said <laughs> the they were after said. you, but not yeah. the no, no, sword. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They, they were after the you, but they were, but they're after that sword. Yeah, we see him. Yeah. Is well, the way you get. said you had made it sound like she had dropped she, something. She else. was obviously yeah. she was obviously outnumbered, no matter how yeah. strong she was. Yeah. So she was just trying to sneakily yeah. take the sword. But yeah. that crossbow shot with the sparks mm-hmm. seems to have stopped her in her tracks from doing uh, just like, little crumb for the win. Always he, coming through. Little crumb's the real ghost in this bitch. 
but this also raises a very interesting question too. There are people who are watching your every move, people who know how to get close to you, people who can slip past the security of a guild who are linked back to Bagan. I wonder what that thing with the sexy bird lady was all about. All I know is it's a good thing they didn't get that crazy space sword that Eldrick has. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to getting tattooed. See ya next time. I'm gonna get a tramp stamp cause I'm a dirty old bitch.